Good morning and welcome back to our channel. I'm just starting it today. It's Friday and we've got a busy day ahead of us. We're going to do like a day in the life of the L today. We're going to be doing a photo shoot. So we've got um, about nine pieces of our new collection to photograph. Um, I've got a few pieces here that I need to take back in with us. I'm going to be the photographer. Danielle's going to be the model today. We've got about nine pieces to shoot and then we're also going to try and do some Instagram videos for IGTV. Um, but we just thought it would be the perfect day to start the vlog because we've been trying and trying to start it and it's just, we'll, we'll, we'll forget to pick up the camera or we'll have done something and then think, oh, I forgot to film that, that would have been good for a weekly vlog, but we just haven't, we just haven't managed it. So we thought the best thing to do today was just be do a day in the life of. The last couple of weeks, the last about three weeks, Fridays have been photography studio days. We're trying to get a bit of a rhythm of like what we'll do each day. So I think Fridays are gonna be four days now. So as we're getting more and more new stocking, so we'll take you along with that. I'm going to head into work now. And then usually Fridays we go to Craig's, which is our favourite place to eat in Mask, where our unit is. So we'll probably take you along there as well. And then see how we get on. What we've tried not to do this time is plan too much in because last Friday we had, we had a list of things that we need to do. We need to shoot like studio photos. We need to do Instagram photos. We need to start the vlog. We needed to do Instagram IGTV videos. Anyway, we basically got like halfway through the photos for the website, so the photography studio photos, and it just wasn't really, you just give yourself too long of a list and you're just never gonna get through it. So then it was a bit demo of it and then we felt like we hadn't had enough done. Anyway, we edited all the photos yesterday and all them products went live. And I think sometimes when you look back on something, we've actually done, we actually did better than we thought we had. We thought, oh, we've barely taken any photos. Um, we haven't got enough products. The photos that we have taken, we haven't styled them how we wanted them. But actually when we looked back through, um, yesterday and uploaded them, they actually were better than we remembered. Um, Photo days usually cause arguments, so we said when we left work yesterday, we're going to try to be positive. So hopefully, there'll be no arguments today. So anyway, I'll take you into work now. I'm going to grab all the stuff and take everything with us, just the pieces that I brought home last night. And yeah, and then we'll show you the day. So um, I'm going to quickly show you my outfit, actually. This, um, I've got one of the new shirt dresses on, but I want to change my shoes when I get there because I've just got some loafers on now, but we've got some new boots and there's a pair there waiting in my size that are coming home. So um, yeah, I'll show you my outfit. So this, I haven't put my belt on yet because I've left it in my car from, I wore this dress on Sunday. So, and then I've, at the minute I've just got like black loafers on, but obviously it'll sit a little higher when I put my belt on. It actually comes with a belt, um, but I have left that at work. So yeah, it's really, I just really like it because it's a bit, excuse the mess behind me, sorry. Um, I just love the colors in this. So, yeah, it's got an elasticated waist and then which I'm going to cinch in with a belt. And then I've got loafers on at the moment, but I'm going to change them for, I think I'm going to change them for the new boot. It's the Christy boot and the Harley boot. I'm hoping the Harley boot goes. Um, the silver, so I didn't know if it needed gold, but we'll try it on today. So, we'll leave a link for this down below. Okay, so I've just arrived at work. Um, this is our studio. So we have um, our sewing section over here. We've just recently took out like um, two units here. There was one with a sink and another unit um, that we had built in there. Sorry, it's such a mess. It's like the most un aesthetically pleasing room you can ever you've ever seen so this is basically our sewing area um it needs a good tidy up but um and we need new chairs because we've got this like horrendous school chair here someone gave us this chair that's an old chair from danielle's house so um yeah so basically um this is where we sew on this side and then we have our pattern cutting table with all our fabrics and everything um just some patterns that are loose that are on card that we need to sort out we are in the middle of getting some things changed so this rail is going to go up higher um then the all the patterns are going to sit over there um so basically so this is our um sewing area but then over here um we have just like stock um, more like just basically a lot of stock all stock in here um, our merchandise in here 
Um, and then these are all our new items that we've been pulling that we need to work and then pack up and then put the others in the showroom. So behind all of this is our studio. So this is our photography studio. So we've got two sets of lights over there and um, the backdrop that we'll pull down and then all our photography equipment is just in a box. So basically, when we got everything changed over we kind of did it so that this was never covered so that then we, we could pull the, pull the photography studio down whenever we wanted and um, that never happened because then we suddenly started accumulating a lot more stock so that's why this is now um a big mess over here so and then this at the minute this isn't staying abby our um sister who runs our admin um absolutely hates this little mini office that we've set up for now but it is getting changed we're all in due course we've just got a lot to do so um and that's not it's not priority at the moment so basically i'm gonna move all of this stock over to here pull out the photography studio and then we'll we can start photos so danielle will probably pop in a little bit later because she'll be getting ready to do photos this morning so yeah i'm going to set this up and then i'm going to change everything around and then hopefully we're ready to get started when the when the rooms change around and danielle arrives all set up ready to go I'll show you what it looks like um so it doesn't take too long to change around but it is a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare it'd be easier if we had a bigger room so we'd have this set up all the time so Danielle's just arrived she's just got the first outfit on uh, she's got the Mia trousers on in sage and the Della shirt in um like the sage leopard so we're gonna piece uh, we're gonna photograph that outfit she's just photographing it in the showroom so i'm going to show you what the studio setup is like and the equipment that we use if i know the names of them and um and just tell you a little bit about um how we take our photos we've also got molly here who you'll be seeing a lot of on this channel who is danielle's little long-haired chihuahua who's extremely cheeky so yeah i'll show you around and um then we can get started so that little noise you can hear is just the heat press. It's just warming up because we've got a few new pieces that need ironing. Basically, this is the setup. So you come in through the door here. Um, and then this is how, where everything was, where I was stacking everything up. And then there's the sewing machine still. So that all stays the same, but we just pile up everything on kind of on top of each other. Um, so we just use one light now. We used to have two lights, um, but now we just use this but one big dome light. Um just i don't know the light we quite like that's a bit i don't know whether this is really right but we quite like that there's a bit of a shadow um like always casts like a bit of a shadow on this side and um and then we just use this one dome like when we were using the two it just seemed a bit drowning out and that's not really what um we want the, like a bit of texture and a bit of shadow and stuff to the photos really so we now use this um camera the name of this backdrop the color color danielle might know um but we get this i can't even i think it's maybe like wex or something it was called um but yeah we use this backdrop so we've got it up nice and high it could have been to be honest another bit higher so we might maybe get that um put up a little bit higher um we're at the end of the roll of this now and we've also got the another backdrop color which is arctic white which is just behind there but we really like this color i don't think we'll i don't know if we'll end up using the arctic white we might just end up buying this one again so i'm going to set up the camera equipment and then i'll show you the equipment that we we're using there as well okay so just in case anyone is interested in what camera equipment we use we've got the canon 700d um and then we use this cable i don't know the name of it but um, we link that up to the plug that into the camera and plug it into our um mac and then that links all of our photos straight to the computer so the computer is quite um, nice and big so that we can see the images while we're doing them um, and make sure that the images are the one uh, are right as we're taking them and then we also use this i'm not sure what it's called but this we put in the top 
of the camera and then that links up to the dome light over there so that the flash um i think it's called a, i think it's called a trigger i think that's what it's called and um, so so they all link up and then software the software that we use to edit all the pictures and take the pictures with is capture one so um that's just what we use and then we we shoot straight to there and then we edit the photos accordingly and just export them and put them onto our um website so this is outfit number one. Is the Mia trousers in Sage and the Della shirt in, I think that's in Sage as well. So um, they're like a silk trouser, silk cut wide leg palazzo with pockets. But they're really nice wide and they've got a lot of movement. The fabric is gorgeous on these. Um, and this is the Della shirt. So um, it's similar to the white one that we've dropped um, a couple of, uh, about a week ago. But now this has got a bit of like a Dalmatian spot with a sage stripe. It's got like tortoise shell buttons, um, military pockets. Um, and then it's got some, um, it's got cuff details with the buttons on the cuff details as well. So we've just paired it with some um, heeled um, mules, um, really nice for this time of the year because um, you've got sleeves, you're covered over but we said if we wanted to winter it up a little bit we'd put like a, um, or you need a jacket, we'll put on a black blazer like over your shoulder um, or even layer up underneath the shirt, like put a turtleneck under the shirt, something in like kind of similar colour shoes to the shoes or white or black. Um, and then again put like either a neutral colour bag or darken it up with like a brown or a black so um, yep yeah, this is outfit number one <laughs> So this is outfit number two. We've got the brogan jeans paired with the jasmine chiffon shirt. Um, the brogan jeans are really nice and soft, which is perfect when you're wearing a super skinny jean because you just want to have comfort, but they look really dressy and nice too. Um, and then the jasmine shirt, is it's got like a cummerbund sort of section here, which has got all like panelling detail and it's chiffon bodice and sleeve with um, a cotton cuff detail as well. This is the mini bucket bag in croc with um, gold hardware. And then Danielle's paired it with some zara mules so that's what we've pieced it together with this time last time when we did these photos we did it with some kind of misguided strap up sandals but this time um, we just think these shoes are a little bit more subtle with the coloring yeah do you want to do a spin and we can see the back right let's shoot this one so this is outfit number three, it's the same top, it's the jasmine blouse um, which we've paired now with the Halley cigarette trousers in black. So it's just a different cut to the other trousers that are online, we've done the straight cut and then we've got these ones in um, a cigarette trouser and we've paired them with some Topshop like 90s style um, slingback sandals. So it's sheer still but the cummerbund is like pretty much covered by the, because the, the trousers are so high waisted. Um, just want to do a little spin, we've just put, popped a H&M, I think it's a, don't actually, I think it's an Urban Outfitters um, kind of racer back lace bra underneath it but if you Felt, want, didn't feel as comfortable to wear a lace bralette then you want to pop like maybe a um like a black vest or um like something or like even like a bigger like a bigger bra that kind of goes do you know like a bralette that sits kind of further down like at waist yeah. point mm -hmm. so that would be really nice we did try it without a bra and it's definitely not available to wear without no bra on so yeah that's this piece and we're going to shoot that now so we've swapped up the um jasmine shirt for the logan zebra shirt so this is a chiffon um shirt it is amazing we both absolutely love it it's got this kind of like it's like an almost brown golden detail with like the black zebra, um, high neck, really large collar, puffball sleeves with lots of blues on, so we love it. We've just put it with the Halley trousers again, and um, we're just gonna shoe it half body. Um, Danielle's just got again underneath it the um, Urban Outfitters bra, but it's double lined on the front, which is really nice. So if you spin round, you can't see anything on the front, but then you see this back detail. So that's, we really, lo we love this. So let's get it photographed. We're just getting ready to shoot the um, Christy boot with the 
Logan shirt and the patent blazer. Sorry about the delay, but we're just getting used to the names. Um, so these boots are the Christie boot. They're a fox suede and leather with silver hardware and the lace up from literally your toe right up until the top. And we just wrap them around, um, around the top as well, just because the laces are quite long, but just nips them in at your ankle a little bit more. So yeah, let's get ready to shoot it. Right, so this is the Harper dress. Um, it's a wrap dress with a frill um, inserted around the bottom and on the sleeves. And we've paired it with the Harley boot, which are a black kind of cowboy style boot. And they've got silver hardware. Um, and they're like made with like a really nice tight elastic on the top of your boot. So they're nice and high, so they hug your leg. So we just said pair this with like a leather jacket when it gets a little bit cooler um, or a kind of a long line waterfall jacket will be nice as well um, or even like, a, like just like a cropped, any kind of crop jacket. Yeah. So um, yeah, we're excited to shoot this because we love it. It's kind of a Dalmatian beige print. So now we're on to the patent blazer with uh, as a dress with the mini bucket bag in crocodile. Danielle's just paired it with some Zara um, mules but it looks really nice as a dress you could wear like a little slip dress underneath it if you just wanted like a little bit more coverage or warmth or layers and um, it looked really nice with like a turtleneck wouldn't it underneath yeah, it was, yeah. just put it with the shirt the Logan shirt too so it's really a really nice deep brown with black detailing on the buttons so this is our last or second from last outfit to shoot this is the Tyra blouse we named this tyra because it's got uh, like a choker detail very similar to the tyra that we did in um very much when we first started it's in a really luxurious kind of silk touch fabric it's got um rudeau loops on the on the cuffs um and then it's the hardware is silver um and then we've got the Lara trousers, um, fox leather trousers, these have got pockets with um, like a ruching detail, gather detail on the waist and then they actually are just more of like a straight cut but we've put them with some misguided strappy sandals and tied them up um, up the leg inspired by Tia Lineker. Well, let's get this shot. So this is the the Weller dress. Um, this is a dress that comes with like an underneath coat. Uh, it's lined and it's pleated, and then it's got like the neck detailing on there. So it's got like a chill neck detail, and then the jumper sits over separate. So what we loved about it is that you could wear it as separate. Um, you could piece that over over another like over another dress, or wear the jumper on its own. Wear a shirt underneath the jumper um, or like the pleated part under all the dresses we just paired it with some zara mules again just because they're pretty seamless for your leg so we've just finished up um, the shoe and we're just about to head to craig's which is our favorite place to eat um one sometimes two times a week just depending on what's going on it's usually the day when our little sister abby isn't in working so she's usually viewing um, so we're just about to head there we're going to make some notes about what else we need to do today um so we can come back and then edit the pictures that we've taken and then hopefully get them uploaded today if they don't get uploaded today they'll get uploaded monday Because 
I think that's why I'm gonna love the most when the weather turns. Oh. And we're just back now to our unit. So we're back in the studio now and Nat's just doing the editing from uh, the photo shoot that we just did this morning. Um, yeah, we went to Craig's and that was really nice. I've just been putting some of the stuff back on the rail, making sure everything's nice and tidy. Yeah, it's Friday, so we'll be getting a bit of a flyer today. We're going to leave it at four because I'm getting my eyebrows done. Nat's getting her eyebrows done and I'm just going to leave yeah. early. Sure. So we'll make the most of that. And yeah, I think we're both excited to get back in on Monday now. I'll take you over to Nat, she's just editing the photos. Okay, so I'm just editing some of the pictures Oops, on Capture One. This is, I'm loving this because the colours look really nice. I'll show you from the start. So this is the Tyra blouse. Um, and then we just took a few different images for um, some for Instagram, some for the website, just done some half body shots and then some full body shots as well. So um, we'll just put a mix maybe on the website, might update some of the images of these joggers. The leather joggers that we put on, I think they're the um, Lara um, leather joggers. So we'll probably put, maybe put some images of these, some of the updated images with the new, new products in with the pictures we already put on. uploading a few um a few of the images that are going to be put on the website over the weekend so that was our first studio vlog wasn't yeah it? it's quite overwhelming just getting used to everything like speaking to the actual camera not speaking above the camera and looking at ourselves yeah. <laughs> um, and we noticed a few actually just looking back on some of the clips there when we were doing some of the descriptions the lighting's not great because we had our blinds down for the photo shoot uh, but I think in the future like we need to open the blinds and just let a bit of light in. It's just because we're trying to kind of kill a few birds with one stone and do like um, the product images and then do some YouTube footage but then also do Instagram um, content so it's kind of try, we're trying to do it all at once but obviously we'll just get as we do the more videos we'll get to know more about what what we need to do for each thing so it's not going to be the perfect studio vlog but it's our first studio vlog and it's so I think it's a lot better doing it in one day and yeah. knowing that that's what we're going to do within that day because showing you a week everything changes day to day like hour to hour doesn't it yeah yeah um so it's a and little bit just, hard to keep we've up we've changed with. a lot of things haven't we within our routine yeah we we were heading down a little bit of a different direction now which could be a, a new vlog to talk about like mm. why we've changed direction um yes. and things like that but yeah like we, we're sort of implementing some new ways of working really aren't we? yeah <laughs> not on the sewing machine which is great yeah. um, so We'll kind of fill you all in about that. I think I've said that this morning on before we started the, today's vlog about that we need to kind of explain in detail what it is we do. Um, but as we're changing at the minute, it's a bit difficult to kind of explain that with everything changing over but we will go into detail yeah, yeah so the rest of the stuff that you've seen uh, the vlog today will be surely online by the time this vlog goes out um but we'll describe everything below that we've um talked about that you've seen so in the description box or whatever it is that you something below that we don't <laughs> know about yeah <laughs> So we'll do all that um, yeah. and yeah so it'll be good hopefully you've enjoyed it and it hasn't been too itty bitty and everything so yeah. um we realized we went to create for our dinner and forgot to show you our food but next <laughs> time we'll be really on with that and um, we'll just keep bringing more content of more about what we do yeah that's basically it isn't it yeah. so thank you for watching and hopefully yeah. it's been an interesting one hopefully it's many of many more to come yeah bye bye